it's Raylan back again for another video. Today we are doing a DIY. I am making, I am turning a end table into a cat litter box enclosement. Uh, our litter box is out in the open and it's very unappealing. And so I acquired an end table for a dollar on one of the Facebook garage sale sites and I decided that's what I'm going to turn it into. So today I got some of the supplies for it. I needed a tension rod and some fabric for the curtains. This is super cute. I got it at Joann's. Um, it says you've got to be kitten me. Very cute. And while I was there, I picked up this really cute Valentine's Day sign. Just because. Here I am evening out the edges because nobody wants crooked curtains. Here are the panels cut out, measured everything, so we can start sewing to actually make curtains. This fabric actually has light grids on it, so it made it easy to measure to make sure I was doing the right sizing. And here I am showing you I hemmed it, and I need to fold it over once to make room for the tension rod. And here is the finished product. This fabric is so cute and fits the project perfectly. In this frame, I am attempting to measure out a straight line with my measuring tape and it was not working. So I cheated and got my T-square because I needed a crisp straight line to cut this back piece off. And here, first time jigsaw user attempting to cut a straight line. Wasn't very easy, but it did get done. Next, I needed to sand that back piece off. It ended up being pretty bumpy because I didn't know really what I was doing, so I needed to sand it flat. I couldn't sand it completely flat, so I am drawing another line and trying to use my jigsaw here in a moment to make it more even. over the back one more time with the sander to smooth out that back. Now while I already have the sides and the tops done, I needed to get the front and the inside sanded. So this is doing that. Now I've got it sanded for the most part the places that are being seen so now i get to wipe it off take off the hardware and start painting So before we actually started painting, I needed to drag out my air compressor and my nail gun to attach the piece we just cut. Yay, we finally start to paint! I actually used three cans of spray paint on this, and in the end, I wasn't pleased with the way it looked. It turned out to be more gray than white, probably because the brown underneath. So I ended up going to Lowe's and getting a pint, a small thing of the Valspar samples and ultra white, and I loved the way it turned out. <laughs> 